Welcome to PGD Modeling and Photography Studios. My name's Gary and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about the PixaPro Art Box. So this uniquely designed softbox has some fantastic features that you do not usually get in other traditional shapes of softboxes. So first things first, as you can see, it is supplied in one of the PixaPro carry cases. These fantastic carry cases are easy to store, nice and padded for protection and very, very easy to access as shown there. The softbox itself comes supplied with your traditional speed ring. This section here allows to be interchanged with any speed ring from the market. Um, this then obviously allows you to fit the light to any other brand. The box itself is a quick assemble system, so it assembles like an umbrella. However, unlike many other quick assemble soft boxes I have used, this one has minimal tension, which makes it very, very quick, easy, and simple to assemble. This does not mean that the softbox skin is saggy in any places. As you can see, even with that minimal tension on the rods, the skin is still nice and firm. It's a silver inner, giving you a really nice specular range of light and where this softbox differs. It comes supplied with the deflector dish in the middle. It's a concave dish that can be mounted either way inside the softbox. If you mount it with the concave facing in, what's gonna happen is your direct light source is gonna bounce off the inside of this dish and hit the center of the light source. That's then gonna spread around and it's actually gonna give you a little bit more direction from your light. If you mount it with the concave out like I'm about to, what's actually gonna happen is the light's gonna bounce off the outside of the cave and illuminate further up the softbox, giving you a much more evenly dis distributed light source. So as with normal traditional softboxes, it comes to supplied with an inner diffuser and an outer diffuser. First one, Velcro's into place using these four tags. So again, really easy to assemble, modify, tweak and change this light source as you wish to use it. The outer diffuser. The outer diffuser is sewn to match the arc shape of the actual softbox. So this means when your outer diffuser is in place, you will get that nice shape of light from the arc box. Once I fit this, I will pop it up on this CT600 I have here, and we shall have a look at the actual shape. So, as you can see, the light source itself holds its tension. Now what we're gonna see is our light is gonna be bouncing down here as well as up here from this. We have the evenly distributed light source inside. So this is actually gonna give us a really nice, uh, super soft light source that we can use really tight into our subjects. And because of that shape, that can be very forgiving in our framing. Now this can be used as a single light source, really, really tight in, nice and close. It can provide you with a super soft light as shown here. Now this light source was working really tight to carry out, uh, providing us with this beautiful wraparound light, able to capture all the highlights, but leaving most of the carry out stranded in the shadows. Again, when this light source is used as a uh, hair light, it will allow you to really sort of push it above your subject and being very forgiving due to its shape, allow you to use it even in lower ceiling spaces. Now, as we shift the light source round and turn it into a catch light underneath, what we're gonna find is it's a really nice shape that will evenly distribute the light up the cheeks and give this beautiful catch light in the eyes as shown here. So joining us today to help us demonstrate the art softbox from Pixapro, is Francesca Wellborn. Hello. <laughs> and we're going to do a quick test shot. So looking straight down the lens for me. Just 
just this way of touch. So for a fair comparison, I've replaced the art box with the strip box from Pixar Pro, the 40 by 140. So roughly about the same sort of area of coverage, but obviously the different shape. The 40x140 doesn't have the deflector in that the Arc Box has that I mentioned earlier. Um, so I have dialed a whole stop of power out of this box to try and keep our exposure balance equal. So we're going to do another test shot with this one. So straight down the lens for me, chin down. That's perfect. 